Hello, it's Nate here, and I've seen to have gotten myself into a predicament. I was going to start the video at the mission point, but I seem to have gotten into a serious predicament. I keep saying predicament, I don't know why, but it's a bit of a problem. This is why. You see all these guards? It's like ten of them, one of me. Take that. Smack you with it. I don't like the right. Enough! Whoa! Oh! Uh. I'm tired of that. Did you just hit someone? Get in front of him. Stab you with it. I can't see past my computer again. Oh my 
because they've taken the guild. Not the guild, um, they've taken the palazzo. Salute, bello mio, come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio, it's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. Discover a way to infiltrate the Palazzo Ducale. If at first you don't succeed. This business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Barbarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary and whores. Okay. While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. Get in there before we even find out a way to infiltrate it properly. We're not in so, it, but what do you it's think? outside it. We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the dodge before we're able to get through all these guards.
There you are. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Don't take him so long to get down if he doesn't know it. Say it's the same small weapon I do, but so. So slow. Ranger man, truly. Come on. Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Andiamo. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. That's your idea. Carlo Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility while his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children, and they planned to start a new life in Milan, where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is, until Ignazio appeared on deck. Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well... See for yourself. My gosh. 
so easily. Do throwing knives on them, but it would take too long. Wait, there's two of them. <laughs> so many of them. All right. <coughs> Jeez. Not so graceful. See, told you. Assassin's Tomb, I go. Oh, I'm gonna go. See, right to the Assassin's Tomb, I go. You saw how quickly I got in? Riddles, gang, of Vasilva San Marco to find the assassin seal hidden within. So I must activate the puzzle first. Yeah. You think the assassin was right here? And is it? That, it's too big for me, it's so soon. Oh man, dude. Such cool mechanisms. Mechanisms.
ahead, go on about this. Oh, wait. I know how to. That's why I don't really want to sprint. Which time that I had last time. What? Dude. Oh, it's probably the heart so bad. Oh, okay, it's still hurt so bad.
thought it was um going. I thought the time was up when it went all the way to the left. I'm about to say that I really don't have that much time left. Oh. Okay, now it's from the when it gets all the way to the left. If it retracts as I'm, I swear, if it retracted as I was, um, man, I swear it. Whoa, I didn't expect that. I, s but I swear, if it retracted as I was grabbing it, I was gonna be so mad. gonna close it or anything, just memory sync assassin seal cards, seal of amunet, I think it was. No one's gonna even notice the wall changed. It seems like armor broken like it is broken right now. Easily, I got out. Look how easily I got out. Guards right there. Nothing. Okay, guys. Before it turns to a long episode, I'm gonna end it here. But that was pretty awesome. Didn't even didn't even need the whole bird thing idea thing. Yeah. So fill a chest. Um, so, in the next episode, we're going to, um, I think, go to Leonardo, see what we can do about his, um, bird idea. And, you know, I'm about to assassinate all of them. I thought there were guards. Has he been doing? What? I ain't got nothing on me. This would probably hurt. <laughs> oh, guards. Didn't even know. Out there! He's bolting! <laughs> That's what he said.
Wow, I didn't mean to drop him. But yeah, guys, the next episode we're going to see if Leonardo's bird, um, well, bat wings, um, actually works. Maybe. So. Not you! He's there on him! Whoa. Wow. That is the that is the funniest place you could land. In a well. But yeah. As I find a way down this building. Wait. Flying down the river. Anyone else see that boat? That empty boat just went flying down the river. I don't know why. Okay. But yeah, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.